Hello, I'm Danny Garwin. I'd like to talk to you a few minutes about some things going on in White County. I'm sick and tired of being accused, being harassed, uh, just because of politics. I was planning on running for sheriff this time, but they succeeded in getting my name taken off the ballot uh, through a court order through, in my opinion, a chief deputy in White County, just my opinion only, served as counsel during a court hearing. In my opinion, everything was brought up and decided before I ever walked into the courtroom. Why? Because it seems like our local politicians, and I say politicians, not elected officials, want to keep control. It's kind of funny that I am very unable, but uh, I threw someone 10 feet through the air their feet not even touching the ground, according to testimony, and caused them to break their arm. Well, all right, that's what they say. My issue is, two weeks after the incident was before a TPO was ever taken out against me. That's kind of odd, two weeks. It's funny that the investigator and supervisor that was here said that the call was totally unfounded. No marks, no bruises, no nothing. It's kind of funny that I voluntarily go to White County SO to be interviewed by a investigator, which also called me back and told me that the reports were unfounded. Yet, I have a chief deputy telling me that uh, he's gonna take me before the grand jury because that's not their findings at all. Is somebody lying? Or is this politics in White County? I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of being run over, abused by the system. I was a cop for almost 27 years, and I'm tired of the injustices that's been done to the public. If it happened to me, a retired cop, how many more is it happening to? You know, I don't know much what else to say, except stand up for your rights. Don't let them walk on you. Don't let them accuse you and name you. Why, after the reports that was filed by the chief or by the supervisor that was here, the sergeant, and also the investigator, why did the chief deputy suddenly pick up the case? And why is he threatening to put me before the grand jury? Is it because I announced that I was running for sheriff in White County? And why did it take from Friday until Tuesday for Sheriff Walden in White County to call me back? And he didn't like what I was saying, so he decided that it was time to terminate the call. I went to bed at eight o'clock that night. I was awakened at gunpoint and my cell phone ringing around midnight. I'd been asleep for four hours. Why did one wait four hours to call for assistance? Why could one carry out stuff from the house two weeks later with a badly broken arm 
and use that arm, not in a cast, not in a brace. And a couple of weeks after that, they were here doing the same thing. And even the judge in White County Superior Court watched them move their arm from the cast, no brace, no cast, and raise it high above their head and hold it while taking oath. After just saying to the judge her arm was badly broken. How could you hold this high up above your head? And then the judge have to tell you to take it down. I'm trying to keep this very short. They've got what they want from me. They got my name off the ballot because of a trumped up, in my opinion, court order to keep me off the ballot so the good old boy syndrome can stay in effect. You know, I'm sick and tired of it. Why will they not talk to me? And let me ask you another question. Why is the news media, why are they being made available from what I have been told? And I understand there could be lies there. I don't know because I haven't seen what the news media has picked up, such as Fox 5. But through proper court procedures, I was denied of the instant report of what happened here that night of April 3rd. I was also denied through due process during a court hearing, through discovery and production of documents that I was allowed to have for my defense. I was also denied those things. And, you know, it's really starting to make me wonder. The White County News was supposed to call me back yesterday afternoon or today it's after one o'clock today to see if I could do a paid article to tell the people what's happening. But no calls back yet. They have the right to print what they want to or not print what they want to, paid or otherwise. So I'm using my YouTube channel for something I don't want to do to express to y'all and let y'all know. So far, the FBI is the only one that has an active investigation going on right now. The GBI refused, the DA's office refused, the magistrate court didn't know what to tell me. I just urge each and everybody out there that sees this and hears this, where you live in our community or not, to think about who you vote for before you vote for them and before you elect them, before you put them into office that is going to affect you, your family, your home, your children, or your grandchildren. It's time for a change. Yes, I was going to be a candidate for your sheriff in White County, but no, not anymore. Politics has ruled. At least that's my opinion anyway. Politics has ruled. Thank you for your time. I hope this has been informative. You can contact me on Facebook, Danny Garland. I'll give you more specifics. Thank you. God bless you and have a great day.